Hello everybody, Brios here And for you guys today, I have a mech that you don't often see on the battlefield And that's because this JC itself, the 60 ton in a serial battle mech, the champion Is a rather average, kinda of mediocre, kinda of chasey And the mech I'm talking about is the hero variant of it, the Invictus Which is even more rare Because it doesn't bring much that is new to the chasey It jumps and yeah, that's about the only spectacular thing to it and it gives a 30% C build bonus because it's a hero mech and it gets a nice unique pattern which actually I kinda like but champions are not popular other than its average performance it's also kinda ugly to some people but I kinda like it so anyway, um, a few months back the Quadrant gave the champion a quirk pass so I haven't played it since then so I thought it would be a good time to take this build out which I built it before the Quadrant patches um, I thought I'll take it out and see how the Quadrant Quirk Pass has affected it. So let's get a look at the build. So I'm running a very simple build. Two MRM-40s for a total of 80 medium range missiles. Six tons of ammunition is well more than enough for quick play. An XL-280 engine gives it a well, so-so speed of 75.6. And with three jump jets, you can pop that a bit, which is his main way of fighting. And gives you a bit of mobility to get to places where you normally can't go. The arms are stripped of armor except for a bit, uh, that's because of the quirks. And yeah, do take note the champion, especially in upper tiers, has a pretty pronounced snout and side torsos. So even though the arms can shield those hitboxes, um, it has some quirks which I'll talk about soon, armor quirks that is, but it's easily damaged and destroyed, so that is a problem. And with MRMs, even though this build, the missiles go up to a range of 605 meters, which sounds really far, the missiles spread quite a lot. So the further you are from the target, the less missiles hit. So at about 600 meters, you're just, well, scratching them like a cat scratching the wall. Not much damage at all. Being an XL engine, you gotta be really careful. And yeah, so honestly, it's not the best build, but it is fun. And you have to have the mindset with MRMs. It's basically best used as a brawling weapon. Approaching the target and engaging seriously at about 300 meters or less. But with 6 tons of ammunition, you've got a bit of range to scratch the enemy at distance, so it's not too bad. Honestly, it's kind of a fun build to play, not top tier, just kind of fun. And as I said, the Quadrant gave it some new quirks in a quirk pass quite some time back. And if you look at the quirks here, offensively it gets pretty good quirks that suits this missile. It gets a missile spread quirk of minus 10%, really important because MRM spread too much. Cooldown quirk of 10% to fire faster. Range quirk to allow it to hit further. Heat Quirk, uh, the two MRMs do generate a lot of heat, so the Heat Quirk of 10% reduction actually helps quite a lot. A Velocity Boost of 10% also allows the missiles to travel faster, hitting the target a bit easier, so making it a bit better offensively. Defensively, because of its, well, below average hitboxes for the torsos, it gets a CT boost of 16, and torsos also get 16. So, quite a lot of armor, but they go pretty fast. And with an XL engine, you gotta be extra careful. I didn't use an LFE because it'll be far too slow. Um, yeah, the arms and legs get some armor, but that's it. not important at all. So anyway, let's take a look at the skills. As I said, with MRMs, you want to have the mindset that you want to go in and brawl. So I'm going for max cooldown to fire as fast as I can. 12% reduction in the cooldown. Plus the quirks, that means the missiles fire 22% faster, which is nice. MRMs generate quite a lot of heat, so I'm going for as much of the heat skills as possible. All the heat generation skills re uh, result in a 10.5% reduction in heat for a total of 20.5% with the quirks. The velocity skills, I'm getting all of them, 5 of them. 15% um, from the skills plus 10% from the quirks means the missiles travel 25% faster and it helps track the enemy at longer distances. Um, in terms of the missile skills here, two nodes of missile rack for more ammunition and two nodes of missile spread to further increase the spread from 10% with the quirk to a total of 15% reduction in the spread. Really useful because like I said MRMs, the biggest flaw is that they spread too much. And because this is basically a brawler, hopefully you can get within 300 meters to brawl it out with the enemy. Going for max armor hardening because this multiplies above and beyond the quirks, which is quite substantial. 18% bonus. And with the six nodes of skeletal density, not only does it make it a bit harder to die, it gives you a bit more structure to absorb heat damage. And I tend to overheat and soak heat damage because I want to take down the enemy rather than wait for them to shoot me to bits. 
So 19.8 structure bonus for this set of skills. Moving on to jump jets. Uh, the main way of uh, the main means of engaging the enemy with this build should be to pop tart. So when five nodes of lift speed boost the initial thrust by 15%, allowing you to pop tart fire those missiles and it allows your mech to rise faster. So that's what lift speed does. And because this build, like I said, it does generate heat quite substantially. Four nodes of heat shielding to reduce the heat reduction, uh, the heat generated by the jump jets by 24%. So allowing you to pop tart fire, pop tart fire is a bit longer. And talking about longer, uh, with the cool run skills, so the five of them, heat dissipation is boosted by 10%, allowing you to dissipate the heat just a bit faster. As for sensors, I'm going for full 100% radar deprivation. This is a pretty fragile build despite the seemingly large amount of armor it has. Yep, see? But with the radar deprivation 100%, once you drop behind cover, uh, the enemy loses their locks, which is useful for pop tart builds and especially for uh, pop tart builds which are pretty chunky like this guy. It's a heavy mag after all. I also have one node of advanced zoom because not well, not because I really want to engage at wrong distances. Uh, like I said, at maximum range of 605 meters, very few missiles hit. You have a lot of ammo, so you can still fire, but it, well, it's not optimal. And I get the advanced zoom because I'm old and I'm almost 50, and I can't really see the enemy at long distances, so I just want to see what's happening. That helps. So anyway, finally we go to auxiliary 3, 11 SPs for 2 cool shots with the cool shot cooldown to fire the second one faster. And for this build, I'm going for UAVs because I want to see where the enemy is so I can pop tart and, well, reposition nicely without them, well, returning fire too much. So, much as I like strikes, I'm trying UAVs this time. It's not too bad, but I like strikes to suppress the enemy. Uh, but this is useful also. So that's it, ladies and gents, for the champion hero, the Invictus pop tart MRM build. And as you can see from the gameplay, it's not too shabby. Not too top tier, uh, Wolverine probably does this better, but this is different and it's fun to play. And remember, even though it is a long range, you must have the mindset with this build that you are fragile, you are going to pop tart and drop back into cover to engage the enemy, and it's best used as a brawler with these 80 missile tubes, because beyond that, you're just scratching the enemy and the trading is not optimal, and yeah, you're just gonna fare badly against other trading mechs. So with that being said, let's get down to the gameplay and I'll show you some of the best games I had with this build. So let's go. Alright ladies and gents, and here we are on the ever popular mining collective for the very first showcase match. A map that is kind of small and suits this build nicely because like I said, this is predominantly a brawly build. And with this map mining collective, there's lots of verticality. So jump jets actually help really a lot on this map. And yeah. So in this particular match, I'm going to try hit to Echo 4 High. There are a few mechs like this, Cicada and a few others. So I thought I'll keep them company because that's a great spot for me to cover the team, cover the different angles and brain missiles down on the enemy. So yep, here I am. So these structures in Echo 4, these don't provide excellent cover. So one stalker there, quad heavy PPC plus rockets. Interesting. So we're going to pop tart, fire some missiles and pop a UAV to see what's here. Oh, lots on my left, gotta be careful. Look at the map. Lots of targets. Yep, lots of targets. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to the left. I'll pop up from here. So the, if we can. so the building on my left gives me some cover. Oh, a bit of war crimes. Left also, Alpha. Yeah, this talker's in trouble. He's way too far forward. Or she is way too far forward. Target destroyed. So he, she goes down. Hey, watch watch out for the wraparound behind you. So lots here. This Dyer is distracted by distracted by the team moving on Echo Line. So I'm gonna rain missiles down on this ATM Ultraviolet. Interesting. So this is where the pop tart is really useful. He finally realizes I'm there. But one torso gone. CT cord. He's dead. Ah, one mech behind him. It's a Beagle, Tron. Hello Tron. Got some missiles. Watch Echo 4 max. Warhammer is called. So 80 missiles at point blank, basically called a CT. Gotta be careful of the ramps here. Echo. Don't want to tunnel vision on Tron and his vehicle. Maximizing the pop type on this mech. 
Yep, right. there's the eagle. Not good. They saw me again. Time to move to the other side. Alternating between the sides. That's more of defensive gameplay. 5 1 already. 6 1. 6 1, guys. Yeah, there goes the huntsman. The call to push is made. I can't make it. Let's go. Echo 4. 6 1. 6 2. Oh, we're rotating. Oh. Yeah, there's Tron in his vehicle again. I'm gonna brawl with him. Quick armor check. I'm pretty fresh. So, gonna take the opportunity to blow off his torso or somebody to get this. But he goes down. Like I said, 80 missiles at point blank range is very devastating. Because, well, it, like I said, this build does better as a brawler. Yet again, making use of these structures to protect me. Delta. Delta runs away. Roughneck is tanky, so if he eats that. Distracted. Not enough to kill him, despite the rear shot. But that gets him. So that's it. Very aggressive team. Oh, suddenly a black knight. Oh no. Hopefully he's caught. Yeah. So situations like this in UAV would help. I'm caught. He takes me down. Even though I presented my left side. My nose stuck out. But 3 kills, 1056 damage. Can't really complain. Just gotta wait for the team to clear shop right now. So, yeah. Tapping, finish them. So, well, one small mistake caused me my mech, even though I CT cord and I tried to shield. Hitboxes on champions, well, not the best. So that's it. A glorious victory. 12-5. So who says brawling is dead? It's fun, it's scary because of XL, and but very rewarding. So if you look at the damage here, 1056 damage, 3 KMDDs, 3 solo kills, um, 6 in 9 match score, very nice. So let's move on to the next match. And that last match was certainly a smashing good match for me, but it showcased the use of the jump jets on this build to get to locations you don't expect a champion to go, and also to pop that two rain missiles down at short range on the enemy. Uh, but unfortunately, it also did showcase the fragility of the champion itself, not only the Invictus, but also other champion mechs because of the snout. Hitboxes are not the best and is kind of fragile. So anyway, right now it's a second match and it's a Vridian Borg. Game mode is Domination. And in this particular match, I'm doing a group drop together with Pavo, Lieutenant and Random Gamer. Because I happen to be streaming and I do drop with viewers. Link to my Twitch channel is of course in the description below. Uh, being Domination, we're starting from this side. Um, the call has been made by me to go to Delta 5. The likes to hold the high ground as we move up there. Because Delta 5 high is pretty important in Domination. Charlie 5 is a death trap so because of the horrible terrain there. So hopefully we can catch the enemy at Charlie 5 and slowly grind them to dust. Target acquired. Target spotted. Okay. 800 meters, I have no range. Thanks. Target spotted. Sorry. Thank you, lights. Some support is coming. UAVs at Delta 5 would really help. Fuel at 25%. Target spotted. Fuel at 0%. Okay, first UAV goes up. There it is. Get their UAVs, please. Drop strikes around the corner. Target spotted. Target spotted. Fuel at twenty-five percent. New target acquired. Target spotted. Fuel at zero percent. New target acquired. Target spotted. Fuel at twenty-five percent. Oh, I predicted target wrongly. Target spotted. Target spotted. Where is team? New target acquired. Left side, like I said, New guys. Target Not like acquired. Acquired. New target acquired. Fuel and target acquired. New target acquired. Fuel at zero 
drop strikes there, guys. Target Look at the map. A lot of people are not dropping strikes. Okay, I'm gonna go down. I can't brawl. I'm Excel. Street Dervish. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target spotted. Frabby's in the rear. New target. Target spotted. Hotel right up. Death strike. Pressure Charlie 5 guys. That's a terrible spot to be in. New target. Wolverine Echo is late. Target spotted. Need assistance. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted. Fuel at 25%. New target acquired. Fuel at 0%. We're not gonna fight. Target spotted. Get out of the way. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted. Zero, zero. Golf side torsos. Let's push forward. Acquired. Going for echo. Right leg. No. It's caught. You just get damage. Push around the corner. Down a bit. I know the death track is here. Four one. Five one one meters. Actually in range. The spring damage. Enough to get him. Echo five has one mech. I'll clear this guy. This crusader is pulling people away. But enough to get it. Okay. Running out of ammo. Echo 5, let's all go together. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Oh, he was linked. 8 4. Delta 6, 2 max. Target destroyed. Ah, oh, nice Eden. Thank you, team. Yep. Yeah, brother. 80 damage alpha is nice, but the spread is terrible. So it's basically a brawl build. Jumping XL brawl. I blow something. Last guy is shooting me somewhere. There it is. And he goes down. Nuke Nido gets the kill. And that's it. Come Four on, kills. Nice brawl. Only 200 rounds of ammo left. This mech has a potential of 2,400 damage. Yeah, I don't know where the Daiwos are hiding. I guess they're trying to snipe from range. But if you go by Delta 5, you can farm them pretty nicely. Get out of range, I mean. Lots of cover there. Lots of C builds, but that's because of the tournament supporter pack and mech bonus. 4 kills, 8 to 7, I honestly thought I did more. But because of the spread, quite a bit of damage misses. Uh, but quality damage, 6, 3, 2. Hmm. So that's it ladies and gents for this video on the pop starting MRM-80 Hero Mech of a Champion, the Invictus. Brawling with XL is scary but it's also fun and occasionally rewarding. So till next time guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the battlefield. So bye!